Hi everyone, welcome back to DevDodge Academy and welcome back to Introduction to Programming Using Java. So continuing about the conditionals, uh, one thing that we did not do in the previous video was to format our code. So basically just press Ctrl Alt L and you'll see that it will get a little bit prettier. And now let's create another class, Conditionals04. So just create here a Java class and then Conditionals. 04. Okay, so what are we going to talk about in this class? Basically, we are going to use arithmetic operators. We know from previous videos that we have uh, plus, and we have the minus, we have multiplication, we have division, and we have remainder. So if you're curious about how it works, just come uh, all the way here to Oracle. Just uh, go to the search for Oracle. Let me see what did the, I search. It was Java arithmetic operators in Java, the first link, and then basically you have the whole list here. Okay, so just to practice a little bit more reusing variables. Now let's come back here to our code and let's do the following. Let's do some math. First, let's create here a double and let's call result. So result will be, uh, for example, 10 plus 20, and I'm going to print out the result. So Control Shift F10, and as you can see here, we have the value 30. But I want to test all the operators. I don't want to keep creating variables for all of them. I just want to reuse the same. So after result is used, I would like to reuse that same space in memory. So we can do this through result. And then what I want to do now, 10 minus 20. And then we can also print again the result. Control Shift F10. And we have here minus 10. So as you can see, we can also store neg negative numbers inside variables. And going forward, we have here result. And then we have here 10 multiplied by 10. Control Alt L to organize our code. And then out result control shift f10 and we have here the value 100 and then the division basically result equals well, we are assigning 10 divided by uh, 10 and then we are going to print the result the result is going to be 1 and the last one the remainder Basically, it's pretty useful if you want to figure out if something is even or odd. So, result of the remainder, uh, 20, remainder 2. So, let's see the result. Result, Control shift f10. And we have here, the remainder is 0. Now, this is how we reuse the, the variables. As you can see, we declared once, we assigned, and then we are just reusing. So William, can I just get the result and just reuse plus something else? For example, imagine that we have here a result and result is like 20, right? So if I print here, we have result. So what if we want to add to the result 20 something else? I don't want to just get the 20 back. I just want to reuse whatever is there plus 50. You can completely achieve that by calling the variable again. So now what I'm saying, I'm saying result, whatever is stored there, the value, the space in memory will be whatever the result is plus 50. And then we will have here a result, control shift F10, and we have 70. So what is going on in this line 16 is I'm saying, hey, the spacing memory that result is having a reference. Basically, if we come back here, so basically this space right here, it has 20. So what I'm saying in that line is basically this. Hey, whatever you have in this space, add 50 there. So basically I'm saying, hey, this one will be the result of 20 plus 50. And then the final result will be 70. So this is what's happening here in this line 16. So we have here result, the last value is 20 in memory. And then I'll say, hey, 20 
plus 70 and then this will be assigned to the spacing memory and it will replace the original value so remember the right side is always evaluated uh, first and then if you want this this class is called conditionals you can add it here if the result is equals to 70 what can i do here for example just a quick salt the result is 70. Control shift f10 and we have here the result is 70. So this quick class was just for you to get used to reassigning values and reusing variables. In the next video let's do a small exercise about conditions again. So see you in the next video. Bye bye.